What's up guys, today I'm taking a look at this capture card from UCEC. This is the Gam Live Pro 4K video capture card. Uh, this claims that it can take in a 4K 60 signal and uh, it can record a 1080p signal at up to 60 frames per second. I'm going to put that to the test. Now I do want to put out there that UCEC did send me this card for free and it is mine to keep, but that will in no way reflect my review of this device. I am not at all affiliated with UCEC and I owe them no loyalty or allegiance. What you're going to get from me here is a fair and honest review. But as far as the test goes, it's begun already. I'm capturing this footage with my camera running into this capture card right now, but I'm going to put this thing through a lot more rigorous tests than this and see if it can do what it really claims that it can do. Here's a pick of the box and the specs that it promises. And inside the box, we get the card itself, the paperwork that no one ever looks at, a double-ended USB Type-A cable, a USB Type-A to C adapter cable, this capture card is indeed a USB 3.0 device, and also included is an HDMI cable. Setting up the card in OBS was simple, and it was instantly recognized as UCEC GamLive Pro under video capture devices. After that, I had a bit of a rough start with audio, but it was easily fixed just by disabling Dolby Digital Sound in the playout device and setting it to PCM. Here, you can have a listen so you know what I'm talking about, and that way you'll know what to do if you encounter this problem with this card. And as I mentioned, after Dolby Digital is disabled, that sound problem goes away. So as you can see here, pass through for the capture card to my monitor works just fine. I don't have the latest and greatest video game consoles, but here's some captured gameplay footage from the Xbox 360. Here's some footage captured from my PC's graphics card with the settings at 4K. Keep in mind that this card will take a 4K input, but it's limited to recording at 1080p, 60 frames per second. And here's a direct recording of my Sony CX240 Handycam, and then the same video captured by the card. And here are those two video files side by side. The footage captured by the card is a little darker, and a minuscule amount of frames were dropped, but not enough to be a showstopper. As for frame rate tests, 
I looked at the recording from the camera, and this card does indeed capture 1080 video at 60 frames per second. On the Xbox 360, as long as the game is a 60 frame per second capable game, the card does indeed capture 60 frames per second there as well. And for my final frame rate test, I captured 4K footage from my PC. But remember, the card down converts the footage to 1080p, 60 frames per second. But to my delight, the card passes that test too. The card has an audio output jack that allows you to monitor the input coming into the card. And with headphones, it sounds great. It also has an auxiliary input port, and I'm going to grab a microphone with a 3.5mm jack and test that out now. This is a microphone test of the built-in 3.5mm audio jack of the UCEC GamLive Pro capture card. I'm using a Techstar SGC 598 shotgun microphone. I'm running this into a 3.5 millimeter cable that is about four feet long. And you're probably actually picking up a little bit of background noise as we've got a hell of a winter wind storm running through the area right now outside here. So Six months later. This is most likely not a setup that I would use because the microphone and the HDMI sources are not independently controllable. So I've had these um, capture cards before with the built-in mic ports and a lot of the times that when you're playing a game like this it will mix the audio with the uh, HDMI audio source and uh, the mic together and you don't really have any control over the uh, input of the mic and the HDMI port individually. What I found with this card is that when you plug this microphone in, the HDMI audio input does not work at all. So as I'm playing this game here, um, I'm going to unplug the mic and you will hear the audio from the HDMI input will then come in. Unplugging the mic right So this has been my review of the GamLive Pro 4K 60 capture card and I gotta say, I really like it. It's a bit more expensive than most of the capture cards that I've dealt with and a little more expensive at $100 than a lot of the tech that I've reviewed on this channel. But sometimes I think that if you're looking for that uh, blend of quality and purpose all in one, sometimes you're ahead to save the money by actually spending it than spending it on um, a little piece of junk here that doesn't work and then buying another one and then buying another one till you eventually end up spending all of that money anyway to settle on what you want and I think at a hundred bucks this thing is worth what it's selling for and if you're still not convinced and you want a little bit more information on this card and a different perspective my buddy William over at Thrifty AV did a review on this exact same card a few weeks ago and I'm gonna put a link to that video in the description below if you want to check his video out but with that being said I'm gonna wrap this video up with a shout out to my channel supporters if you would like to support this channel either on Patreon or Ko-Fi, there will be links in the description below. And remember, the best way you can support this or any other small creator is to interact with our content. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with more money-saving tech tips, tutorials, and tech reviews.